Hi, it's Sandra from ScanSpeeder, and today we're going to scan our photos using an HP scanner. So I've placed three photos on the scanner flatbed face down, and I'm going to press the scan button. Once I do this, it comes up, and you'll notice ScanSpeeder recognized I have an HP scanner. ScanSpeeder recommends 600 DPI, and we're going to go with that. I'll explain why later. I press OK, and ScanSpeeder and my HP scanner start scanning together. So you'll notice ScanSpeeder auto-detected all three of my photos, color and black and white. And also notice I didn't have to put the photos on perfectly straight. I kind of did my best, but ScanSpeeder still auto-detects it. Now I go to step two, I click Extract Photos. You'll notice ScanSpeeder automatically straightened my photo. Look at this one. It straightened it for me. Uh, ScanSpeeders also separated each photo into their own file, and now they're ready to save. Before I do, though, I'm going to add a tag. And how you add a tag is right here where it says Enter Optional Caption. The reason why I want to tag the photo is so I can find it later. It digitally embeds the information with the photo, kind of similar to how when you take a photo with your camera or your phone, it digitally tags it. This is how you can digitally tag a scan photo. So I'm gonna add in a name. And you may wanna add in the year. You could add in whatever you like. Then step three, I come and save the photos. You'll notice that all three of the photos have now been saved, and I've saved them in two file formats, TIFF and JPEG. The reason I did this is TIFF is the most important file format to have them in. TIFF is the archival quality for photos. It's going to preserve it for all the generations to come. They can print them. They can enhance them. They're not going to lose data. JPEG is a compressed format. It means every time I make changes to it and I save it, I actually lose data and I lose information. But it's really small and it's compressed. And that's why it's good for slideshows, posting up on social media or emailing. So now you have both copies. Then I go to start a new scan and I can start the process all over and continue back scanning. Thanks for watching.